Hi everyone, welcome back to our second week of training. I have some fantastic news for you. Coach Lulama has joined me in planning and filming these sessions. So it's the two of us now, so you're not gonna get too bored of my face on. What is also great news that it's the second week of sessions. So Lulama and I had so much more time for planning and thinking over where we want to go with these sessions. So this is going to change a little bit. Let me tell you how. We're going to have a quick warm up held by you girls and then I'm going to pass over to coach Lulama who is in charge of your strengthening. We're going to have about five strengthening exercises then I'm moving on to some pilometrics which means a jump training and then we're moving on to our volleyball stuff. What I would like to make very very clear for you the numbers we are telling you are the minimum numbers of each exercise and volleyball, just as every other sport, is based on repetition. The more times you do it, the better you're gonna get at it. So make sure that you do every single repetition and if you wanna get better, you're gonna do more. And be sure you're not doing all these works and all these reps for me. The more you do, the better you're gonna be when you come back to school. You are really, really, really gonna see the difference once we're back on your ball control. Water bottle ready? greenhouse stuff ready and let's get going let's start with 40 star jumps 30 heel flicks 15 with each leg 20 toe touches 10 with each arm and five lines a short and a long counts as one And now over to Lulama, let's get those muscles strong. Strength and conditioning. First exercise, push-ups. Ten push-ups. With one leg at a time, take a step forward, bend both knees at approximately 90 degrees. Make sure when you lunge, your knee is behind your toe and posture maintained. This for 10 times. Plank shoulder tap. While in plank position, touch with one hand the opposite shoulder 10 times. For beginners, kneel down and do the same. Keep your core engaged at all the time. Squat jump. Combine a regular squat with a block. While jumping, remember to have your core engaged, fingers, wrists, elbows on the same line, and your head between your shoulders. 20 reps. So ladies, word of the day, plyometrics. And that's what we are going to do for a little while right now. It means jump training and I'm um, trying to keep it very nice and easy for now for the first session. So let's have 30 of each of the following exercises. So with both feet, jumping back and forth 30 times. Do the same thing sideways. Make sure feet touches and takes off at the same time. Then on one feet, start with the left, then move on to the right. And you can do the same sideways, start on the left and then move on to the right. Well done. If you have done all of it, it was quite a lot of jumping for today. So hopefully you're going to have a little bit of muscle pain, but that pain is your friend. It means that your muscles are growing and you are getting stronger. And as I promised, let's move on to some volleyball now. Grab your volleyball, your stuffed animal, your toilet paper roll, whatever you have, and let's start volleying. Just a super quick reminder about the volley technique. We're gonna try to touch the volleyball only with our fingertips. Our thumb and index finger is going to form a triangle and the other fingertips are lightly touching that ball. This triangle is gonna go to a square as you release the ball. And as you can see, my elbow is going completely straight, triangle to square. So my wrist and my elbow moving at the same time. Okay. 
First thing to do, volley sit-ups. Please do 15, but don't worry if you have to break it down a little bit. You can stop every three or four if you feel, but if you have the power, you feel the power, try to rock out 15 at the same time without stopping. Do two low self volleys and one high. Squat down while volleying a high ball for 20 reps. The next exercise is going to have two phases. First one is volley catch and volley throw. Make sure you turn around all the way, 180 degrees, face the other way and try to catch that ball nice and high above your forehead. Let's do 25 of this. If you're a confident volleyer, let's move on to stage two, a small and a big volley, and after turn around. If you're a little bit cleverer than I am, you're always gonna turn a different way. I've got quite dizzy after doing it a few times. Make sure to turn two ways. Let's do 15 of this. For this one, you can sit or you can kneel up with your right knee up. Let's just have two times 25 of volleying onto the wall. Knee down with the right leg in front and then uh, volley for yourself and volley against the wall for 25 reps twice. And now that you have volleyed two Chilean times today, it is time for our daily challenge and this one is not for the faint-hearted. It's not going to be a very easy one. So let us know how did you do. You can be on bronze level if you've done two. You can be on silver with three. You can be on gold level if you've done five. And I will award you with an Olympic level if you have done ten or more. Make sure you send a video to me on show my homework just the proof that you have done the challenge. You don't need to send me the whole training. I do believe you that you done that you have done everything. Start with a volley onto the wall and then in laying position, one volley to yourself, sit up and volley on the wall. So to yourself, volley, to yourself and volley. This is really not easy. Try to make that first volley nice and high so you have time. And ladies, this was us for today. You have really, really, really have volleyed so, so much. So very well done. Let me know which stage have you got. Have you got to bronze, silver, gold, or maybe Olympic? So I'm really, really curious to hear and to see how you've done. So good luck. Bye.